you came across this question in the jump exam how will you solve it it's actually very easy now let's solve together the question says an isomer of c5 h12 is now this particular question is very easy as i've read this question there's something i i picked out from this question and that word is isomer so with this this bring our knowledge back to a terminology in this field of chemistry you know this part of chemistry is called organic chemistry and that terminology is called isomerism so the question we ask ourselves what is isomerism isomerism is the existence of two or more compounds having the same molecular formula but different structural formula meaning that that two compounds or two or more compounds we have the same molecular formula and the molecular formula in this question is what c5h12 so but different structure meaning that they are asking us to check the options here looking at the compounds and check the one that has the same chemical formula as this do you understand that's the question is actually very very easy so as i've seen this there's something i have to explain to you all first before we solve this question now this is something you must take note of an organic compound with one carbon now if you are still finding naming organic compounds difficult i already have the video on my youtube channel a full video lesson that explains naming organic compound from the scratch so if you are still finding that aspect of chemistry difficult make sure you go watch that video it's going to help you so let's get into this question now i said an organic compound with one carbon should be pronounced this way and it is met do you understand you must use this prefix met for an organic compound with one carbon while an organic compound with two carbon the prefix et must be used as well do you understand an organic compound with three carbon it is prop an organic compound with four carbon it is but an organic compound with five carbon it is paint an organic compound with six carbons it is eggs an organic compound with seven carbons it is ept an organic compound with eight carbon it is opt an organic compound with nine carbon it is non and lastly an organic compound with 10 carbons it is deck so all of these will help us to solve this particular practice question it's actually very easy now let's analyze each of the options because what this question is asking us to do here is this is to check the options here that have five carbons and 12 hydrogen that's what they're asking so we have to look at each of the options and determine the compound here that has five carbons and 12 hydrogen so how do we do this in this video i'm going to teach you a trick on how it is done it's actually very easy what i want from you to pay attention now if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel do well to go to my youtube channel to subscribe so that you don't miss out any video lesson i'll be uploading on my youtube channel because all my videos there are very explicit and easy to understand and i believe you watching me now can attest to the fact so different topics in chemistry stoichiometry electrolysis solubility organic chemistry atomic structure i've made different aspects of chemistry so easy there so it's important to go check it it is the name of my youtube channel is called nurse bright so search on youtube search bar nurse bright to start learning without stress start learning with ease so let's get back into this question now to solve this question we have to analyze each of the options and right now we don't have business with all of these numbers you are seeing forget about that what i'm interested in is in the words mentioned in this particular in these options we are looking at in the board so if you check option a it is two ethyl butane how do i know that a particular copper has five carbon please watch see it is a trick and it's very easy now i said forget about the number and i believe you can see it here eth and what did i say initially an organic compound with two carbon what do, uh, what do we call them x and also i believe you can see butte as well so an organic compound with four carbon 
that is name built has how many carbon four carbons okay so here is four carbon so what do we do we simply add them together so two plus four what is that six six carbon so does this correspond to this compound that uh, uh that has five carbons no because we're looking for the compound here i have the same chemical formula as this you know the jam exam is a time limited exam so you have to be very fast when answering your questions that is why i'm taking my time here to explain all of these things for you to understand so for this which is butane now so definitely but so how many carbons do you think is here four carbon as well so here we have four carbon does it correspond to this a chemical formula here with five carbons no it does not so option a is out option b is out so let's get into option c option c is two methyl butane forget about your number and focus on this so this is met with one carbon which i've said this is built with four carbons so definitely one plus four that is five carbons so when i see this definitely i've seen my answer the answer to this question becomes option c the the anisomer of this which is c5h12 is this is the isomer what is c5h12 it is a compound and i okay specifically called pentane do you understand now the way i got it is actually easy go and watch my video lesson on youtube on how to name compounds all of these things are very cheap and made them easy here but please live in the moment right now as you are seeing this question make sure you know how it is done because likely questions might come out like this in your jam exam so please know how this is done because I'm, at the end of solving this question i'm going to give you unpracticed questions to solve and provide the answer in the comment section okay so let's get into option d option d is already out because meat has one carbon and prop has three carbons so definitely all of them is four carbon so this is already out as well so the correct answer to this question is option c let me teach you all how to confirm if the answer is actually correct it's actually very easy so pay attention okay guys moving further let us draw the structure of this compound which is two methyl butane now you can see the word butane remember this particular compound has how many carbons okay because we determine the numbers of carbon from the parent name do you understand this is the parent name butane so it has four carbons here though generally it has five carbons i know but if now it is important you go watch my video lesson on youtube on how this is done it's actually very easy my own is pay attention you understand so you take the longest chain from your parent name and it is butane and definitely it's going to be four carbons connected together okay I believe you can see what i've done so the next step is this remember carbon is tetravalent meaning that it allows four bonds to surround itself so definitely let's put our bonds for each of the carbon so this is the first carbon so i've done it already so how many bonds is surrounding this first carbon four one two three four okay let me elongate this a little okay so this carbon is four so let's check for carbon two how many carbons is surrounding it as well it is four because we have one two three four do you get let's check for carbon three it is four as well one two three four and the last carbon four as well one two three four do you understand so it's important for you to know this okay we filled in all the spaces for the carbon because carbon is tetravalent i can't do something like this if i do this this carbon it will be pentavalent and it is wrong remember i said that carbon is what tetravalent do you understand so this must be noted so this will be out already so the next step here is to fill in what should be here remember all of this set of compounds they are called hydrocarbon meaning that the two important elements that are here is hydrogen and carbon do you understand so look at it let's fill our hydrogen 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 and lastly hydrogen but should this be two methyl butane no because i'm not done drawing the structure now two methyl butane means that at carbon two we had a special group called methyl group so as a student you are supposed to know what methyl group in my video lessons in organic chemistry i've said this times without number that methyl group is ch3 so this is the methyl group and they say that it is two methyl means that at carbon two we had a methyl group so let's take one two one two this is our carbon two we had a metal group and that metal group is ch3 do you understand so we've done that already i replace i remove one hydrogen and put ch3 group so that's for that so let's confirm if this corresponds to c5h12 so how many carbons c5 remember it's just you remember you know that it is carbon and hydrogen that should be here so let's count our carbons to know if it's five so this is one this is two three four five 
So here should be C5. Let's count our hydrogen. Okay. One. Let's count carefully. One, two, three, four. There is four already. And this is our, our three hydrogen. So four plus three, that's seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So here we have twelve hydrogen so definitely i believe now you understand how it was gotten and i believe now you've seen that this is the confirmatory procedure that tells us that okay this corresponds to this this is an isomer of this do you understand it's actually very easy so if you find this video lesson helpful make sure you share these lessons with your friends and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are just joining this community and get ready for your own practice question and here is yours okay here will be c6 h14 and uh option let me just say option d should be two metal pentane okay two metal pentane and here will be three metal let's say here is hexane hexane okay so please walk towards this make sure you get the answer it's actually very easy i've showed you guys the answer already but make sure you get the answer and comment down below thanks for watching